I'm called Ibrahim Onyango. I have worked here in Yala Swamp for six years as a tour guide. So briefly, this place where we are, it, it was a grazing field before. So the of backflow from River Yala, water came backward and formed some tributaries through the force of gravity. So those tributaries meander and connect to each other and form a large water body. That's why it's called an Oxbow Lake. So Lake Anyaboli is the second largest Oxbow Lake in Africa. The largest one is called Lake Nakombo in Namibia. I normally do biodiversity monitoring. I normally do waterfall count, common budding, and water and uh, biodiversity monitoring in birds. So Yala Swamp has been gazetted as an IBA, the important bird area, is number 42. So by the time I, I am carrying binocular in the early, early in the morning, I just looking birds. Some community are saying my head is not good. Most people are just uh, came for educational purpose, for educational tour. I went to field study uh, at Elsmere called uh, they are the European counties, uh, Bad Life International, they are the people who sponsored me. You know, as a guide, you'll handle different clients with different interests. So if you dwell in birds and you get somebody who is interested in fish, you will not uh, survive. Wind is blowing from uh, Lake Victoria towards the upper highlands. So it's called cool breeze. And there's in the evening, there will be a land breeze. So in this area, the altitude is 150 meters above the sea level. So you normally receive convectional and relief. The most main activity is fishing. Most people are engaging in fishing. So, and some people are cultivating, even in the swamp. So the bigger challenge is overpopulation first. So that's why community encroach, even into the riparian area to do cultivation. Another thing is poverty. Most people, they don't have skills to get money or to survive. They only have one skill of cultivation and fishing. So we have overfishing. So nowadays the production of fish is low. So overpopulation also is a challenge. What do you feel the government, either the national or the county government, needs to do to make your work easier or you know, more beneficial? County government, they are just reluctant. You know here they can get a lot of tax from foreigners and even for, from local tourists because we have a lot of potential but they just rely on that money from national government. Yeah, they don't want to create their own money. So our small trip has come to an end but his journey of livelihood continues and I believe you're better afloat with what happens here and what his job is really about. Dan Mwangi, NTV in Saya County for my job.